The response from law enforcement in the Evalde shooting has been widely criticized, and now the leak of video from inside the school raises even more questions. We do want to warn you that some may find this video disturbing. WSLS believes it is important to show the video because the events of the day have been under intense scrutiny. Ted News reporter Alyssa Ray spoke with a retired police officer about what exactly went wrong in the police handling of the situation. Families of the victims in Uvalde, as well as the nation, continue to mourn. But the leaked video of inside the school that day has reignited the anger towards the police response. We asked retired police officer Dr. Todd Burke to weigh in. It seemed like the police initial response was quick. So that really wasn't where the issue was. Despite arriving to Robb Elementary School within minutes of the shooter, police did not go into the classroom. The initial officers that at the scene that need to go in quickly and again, check the doors, get inside and neutralize that shooter as quickly as possible. That was not done. The video shows officers retreating in the hallway after the shooter fired at them. You know, the idea of waiting around for backup that used to be the old days. You know, you stop, you secure the scene, you wait for SWAT team to arrive. And, but meanwhile, people are being shot, people are being killed. Burke says that training is outdated, and now law enforcement is taught to get in quickly. Instead, officers gathered in the hallway and waited more than an hour to confront the shooter, local, state, and federal agencies with seemingly no plan. Uh, decide, okay, now this is happening. Now what are you going to do? Who's going to do what? But everybody should be on the same page, should use the same communication. Officers rushed in the classroom and killed the gunman an hour and 14 minutes after police initially arrived, after 19 students and two teachers were killed. Burke hopes this tragedy will reinforce the importance of training and preparedness. For 10 News, I'm Melissa Ray.